Here we are in front of a mini dorm at the corner of Adams and Fourth. And there's been quite a bit of destruction done in this area by the mini dorm industry. Here we are walking towards Fourth Avenue and you'll see some really big big honkers here on the corner and another one next to it and you look down 4th Avenue and um, there's pretty much no older houses in sight right on this corner so we're gonna take a walk down Adams and we'll see what's on Adams here and um, again it looks like there is no older homes left this is in the Feldman neighborhood which is uh, on the historic uh, designated historic places there's this big place right here on the corner and down the street you'll see there's another one across the street the same thing we do have a few older little rentals here on the corner a little duplex again this is it's not a gorgeous little duplex but it's not bad and there's another one next to it and those are more in scale and more in design with uh, what the rest of the Feldman neighborhood looks like. But here you have right next door to it, again, it's a pretty dramatic difference in scale. You have the short, you know, one story, the giant two-story party house next door, uh, another one next to that, See another one next to that, and pretty much all the way down the south side of Adams also are more mini dorms. Big, these are big mini dorms. These might be actually apartment complexes because they're so large they actually have garages too. And um, you know, I mean, they don't look bad, but again, why do these have to be in the middle of a, of a single family home neighborhood? This across the street here, here, there's a little house and you can see that this little house, if I back up a little bit, has a mini dorm on one side and a mini dorm on the other side and another one on the corner. These right here, these yellow ones, uh, again, you know, this person who lives in the little house next door, they used to have another little house next door and now they are surrounded by apartment buildings or mini dorms and the entire street, again, entire street, both sides of Adams are taken up with these giant apartment buildings. And my point is, why can't we have these on major arterials? Why do these have to be in the neighborhoods? I can't even back up far enough to get this whole thing in my hole, in my screen. We go down Adams a little bit farther here. We are at 3rd, 3rd and Adams. There's a little house still on the corner and there's a little house next to it on 3rd. But again, that little house, see right there on 3rd, what's right behind it? Another mini dorm. And 3rd here is a pretty, you know, quiet street. It's not a main arterial. We go down Adams a little more, and on the corner is a, looks like a ranch, you know, from the 50s, single family house, next to it, another little house, you know, and next to that, another mini dorm, with a big yellow box, with a, a party, uh, party uh, balcony, fun for parties. And look right across the street. This is the part that's so sad. Right across the street is this cute little territorial. I'm gonna go a little closer. You can see this was probably built in the 30s, maybe the 20s. And what's behind it? Another mini dorm, you know? This poor little house, I mean, it's cute. It's a cute little house. But um, across the street, Mini dorm behind it, mini dorm, another little house next to it. Really cute California bungalow. Looks like a rental, but still, you know, it doesn't look all that bad. I mean, what do we really want? 
in t midtown Tucson or by the university. Do you want cute little houses that show our architecture? Or do we want these giant things? Another little house here. Kept up. Nice wall. Lots of plants. You know? But these houses are disappearing. These California bungalows are disappearing from our streets. Is that what we want? I don't think so.